All right, we have the Brentford defender here, Ethan Pinnock, beat Pinnock. How do you feel about the game today, firstly? I'm um, obviously disappointed. Uh, we wanted to, to get the win. Um, I thought we started first 10, 15 minutes well, mm -hmm. um, conceded the two goals, and obviously it's an uphill struggle from there. Um, but, you know, we kept believing, um, managed to get two goals back, uh, just couldn't quite get over the line in the end. But uh, I think we showed good character to, to not lose the game and at least mm -hmm. get a draw. How do you feel about half-time going in 2 nil? Was there anything that the coach said to you that inspired you to go out and play even more because you was on it second half? Yeah, of course. Obviously, you know, he said remain positive, um, take more shots because I think he's getting into good situations, but maybe trying to, trying to play too intricate and trying to score the perfect goal. Mm -hmm. So I think, you know, one thing was to, to make their keeper work, get more mm -hmm. shots in and, yeah, just, just play yeah, with a bit more aggressive. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. All right. I'm here from Knockings and we'll mainly focus on EPL. Hopefully we can do a collab one day and get a proper interview with you because I love your journey, how you did to Brentford because I'm very inspired and I would want to know that story and people want to know that story. So how you feel you're going to, how you feel Brentford going to play this season? What are your expectations? They were the punch above the weight last season. What do you think you can do this season? You think Europe? Um, you know, we try not to put a label on it, but you know, we're always looking to improve. Um, mm -hmm. Last season we wasn't far off. So, you know, maybe try and go one step further. Mm -hmm. I think we started the season well, um, unbeaten, probably probably a couple of the draws we got. We could have mm -hmm. we could have won them mm -hmm. on a different day if we if we finished our chances off better. But yeah, I think you know the team chemistry is really good and we're you know we're a really tight knit bunch. So mm -hmm. I think we started well. We've got some tough games coming up, but you know we're ready and you know we're we're prepared. Mm -hmm. I know Ivan Tony is a big loss, but how big of a loss is he to you? Yeah, obviously he's a great player. You know, scored 20, 20 goals for us last season in the league. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, we, <laughs> but, um, obviously um, uh, we've had other players come in and step mm -hmm. up. Obviously, Brian and Buemo scored mm -hmm. a couple goals. Wister scored some goals. So mm -hmm. you know, he, he is a big loss. He's a big character for the team. But you know, it give, it's given other chance to play, play, other players a chance to step up. So how far you think he can go as a centre half? I don't want no transfer rumor with Bourne. <laughs> don't want no transfer rumor going on, but where do you see yourself? Do you see yourself surpassing right here? It's not disrespectful, but do you think there's another level to your game? Um, you know, I'm trying to learn every day. Um, I think, you know, I've been, I've been at Brentford four years and, you know, I think the time I've spent there, I've learned a lot under Thomas Frank. Mm -hmm. You know, he's a, he's a top coach and, you know, the, the team's elevated as well. So. Mm -hmm. You know, we're, we're always, like I said before, we're always looking to improve and find extra margins. So, yeah, I, I don't see why I can't keep learning and keep on improving. And, you know, with Brentford, you know, we were close to Europe last year. So, you know, hopefully we can take that extra step this year. Um, I wish you the best as a yard man. I really love how you play. Jamaica never have a good centre back like you. I'm going to get a lot of stick at knockings, but give thanks, Ethan. Ethan, I hope I can get a full interview with you one day to Appreciate show your story and share with the Jamaican Massive. Because we love you here. All right? Yeah. Give thanks, Appreciate bro.